Scorpios. Welcome to the first half of November love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm red. <laughs> I really fucked up my hair. I fucked it up bad. Like it was bad. It was really bad. I even wanted to go to the gym and I was like, I can't go outside with this hair. So I just went for a hike and I like just had my hoodie on the whole time. Anyway, Scorpio. So I had to cover it up. So now I am like a very, very bright red. Anyway, Scorpios. Hello. Uh, it's good to see you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are doing really good. So we're going to go over the meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you for my newbies who don't know. Um, when I pick up this energy, it's energy you could be experiencing, or it could be energy that someone within your environment is experiencing or someone that um, you're energetically attached to is experiencing. And yes, it's energy. So it is fluid. So it can't be reversed or vice versa. So Scorpio, first thing I heard was golden goose. Okay. Apparently you're shit in gold, Scorpio, or what, or what have you. Some of you could actually also be um, pregnant or giving birth or close to that kind of, um, you know, the last trimester or in that kind of energy of birthing. Because like Golden Goose, uh, for those who are not aware of like the, the story behind that, it's literally a goose that, you know, pops out golden eggs. Okay. <laughs> um, so Scorpio, people are looking at you. A, a lot right now okay you're getting a lot of attention whether you're aware of it or not I know you're aware of it though I know you're aware of it because you're not liking it actually um they showed me a scorpion but like I was really just feeling your shell usually when I when I when I focus in on signs they'll show me animals in relation to the zodiac sign like for example Saggy sometimes they show me horses quite a bit or like with Leos they show me lions or cats like quite often anyway so Scorpio you are really fortifying your shell right now and you're not even on alert. It's not even that your singer's out. You're just like you're just feeling energies of other people. You're feeling a lot of eyes on you. Your phone is blowing up. You're getting pro prodded and poked. I was going to put that into one word. Prodded and poked. And you don't really like it. OK, it's kind of messing with your equilibrium. It's messing with your energy feel a little bit. And you're really not happy about that. But people are doing it because they want a little piece of you. They really love the energy you're in, Scorpio. And it is still your season. Happy birthday, by the way, to my November Scorpios out there. Uh, and Scorpios, because you're handling this energy so well, while most people are not handling this energy so well, it's almost like they're looking at you like a little bit of a safe haven to get through this energy. A little bit like, wow, look at Scorp Scorpio handling themselves. Look at Scorpio handling their shit. How come I can't do that? I need to be able to do that. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. And Scorpios, you're like, you're kind of over it. <laughs> you're kind of over it. You don't want all that kind of attention because it's it's a kind of codependent, right? It's a little bit of codependent energy that's being thrown at you and you're not, co and it's just not kosher with you. Uh, some of you Scorpios, of course, you're, you are also subject to the Lazarus season. I do feel, I want to use the word intruding like intruding energies towards you, but I do feel like they're very sexual energies. And I don't, I'm not talking about like succubus and all that stuff. Uh, I'm just talking about people who are really like turned on by you. Okay. People are really turned on by you. People who want to flirt with you. They're coming into your energy field. They're coming to you. They're giving you all of this sexual energy. And Scorpios, again, it's kind of like, it's messing with your energy and equilibrium a little bit, but in a way, like, I feel like it's almost confusing you. You're gaining more and more options, some of you, not all of you. Some of you are gaining more and more options as far as, like, dating is concerned. Or even in your career, you could be having a lot more opportunities coming your way. And you're at the point where it's like, okay, this is almost too much. There's almost too much on my plate of options and, like, people to talk to and, like, options that I kind of want, not sure I want. And you're borderline about to get overwhelmed, which I think is why you're fortifying your shell a little bit here, okay? Keep in mind, we all work through energy differently. So, Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. Golden Goose. <laughs> Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Summoners, and in Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. And keep in mind, isn't this, you can, this can apply to married people. There are a lot of people out there who do not care if someone's married. I'm just saying, they exist. The stats prove it. <laughs> the stats are kind of scary, actually. Let's not get into that. Anyway. Placing five messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November. Someone's showing their teeth. That's what, that's what I just heard. Someone's showing their teeth. Hmm. Oh my, it's a lot of cards. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. This one really wanted to pop out. This has been coming out a lot for people. It could be dealing with someone with this placement. But this is basically a, a halt. I'm getting a halt. Mm, Scorpio, I feel like this is you. It could be someone else you're connecting to, but I feel like this is you. Like, back off. 
Like, please just back up. Just back up. Just back. Give me some space to breathe. Like, that's kind of how some of you are, are, are. Yeah, that's how some of you are feeling. Give me some space to breathe, please. This is too many. I'm not taking these. All right. Give me some space to breathe. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are presenting you with offers. Ha! <laughs> and just as I say that. Yeah, look at you, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire with the Seven of Wands, Leo energy. You're blocking people now. You're sorry. <clears throat> excuse me, energetically and physically. This feels like more physical because it's wands and pentacles. Uh, you're you're starting to block people. You're you're kind of like, yeah, back up. I need some breathing room. I know you need, I know you need me, right? <laughs> need. Queen of Cups and Reverse is out here too. I just realized codependency. Uh, Cancerian energy, Kelsey Pisces or Scorpio. Like, yeah, I know you want a piece of me right now. I know you want to be around me right now, but I, I need space. I need space. I need space. I need to be under my rock a little bit. I just need my bubble. You just need your bubble bubble from people. And like I said, Scorpio, do you feel like intruding energies that like are so turned on by you that I do feel like are romantic suitors? So just keep that in mind. And some of them could be exes as well. Okay, I'm getting that vibe. I'm getting the Lazarus vibe. Um, but yeah, Scorpio, some of you are really in your feelings too because this is very overwhelming. Some of you are overwhelmed and others, this is just codependent energies coming your way. Okay. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio. For the first half of November, please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Let's see what we got here. Oh my. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and the Three of Swords in reverse, the Libra energy. Oh, I'm, oh, whoa. Okay, I just got a big fat download. Okay, before I get to the big fat download, this is working out some pain. This could be possibly um, working it out with someone, like talking it out, like, hey, that fucked up shit. Yeah, that fucked up shit. And that fucked up shit you did. That fucked up shit you did. Can we, can we like just get over it now? Can we like, can we, you know, can we get on the same page here? That's definitely for some getting on the same page with another person. Uh, and I, the a big download I got is I heard someone got cut out. Someone got cut out. Someone's been cut. Not physically. Hopefully. What is this direction? Getting something about directions here. Someone's been cut because two people need to go in a direction. I'm being drawn to the two people over here versus the one. Yeah, someone's been cut out. This person's been cut out. It's almost like um, out of the three things, what's the one thing that doesn't belong? Interesting. That could be work-related because it is pentacles. Keep that in mind. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Yeah, Scorpio, people are like so drawn to your energy right now. It's not even funny. Wow. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, and the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Some of you are going to lash out at people. Sorry, calling it like I see it. Some of you are definitely going to be lashing out at people because you're trying to be in your shell under your rock a little bit, like a Scorpio. Scorpios need their space. And you're some of you are just coming out flying out of the gate, like get the get away from me. Like just stop, or I just I need I need space. Um others, this is a Lazarus. This is definitely Lazarus for some of you. Someone who's had too much time to think is what I just heard. Someone who's had too much time to think. They're rushing. Why are they rushing? Oh, because you have a lot of energies around you. That's why. However, this is Scorpio. Like I said, some of you are lashing out at, at other people because people are way too up in your energy bubble right now. Um, but I do feel for some, someone's had too much time to think and they can feel other energies around you or they know a lot of people are on you right now and they're about to panic. Okay. Oh, Scorpio. You're making me, you're making, you're giving me a little bit of anxiety here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get into your reading here. I'm getting a lot of travel energy, by the way. A lot of travel energy. You could be traveling. Um, someone could be traveling to you. You could be traveling to someone. Getting just travel energy. It is, you know, we are, we are coming into the holiday season. So a lot of people are planning their trips. Uh, for those who are new to uh, tarot or new to my um, content, Sorry, I'm like, I'm so distracted by your energy, Scorpio. It's a lot of anxiety, like in and out of anxiety. Like you'll probably have a day or two of a lot of anxious energy and then you'll be okay. And then someone hits you up, someone calls you, you see someone and then like your anxiety goes up again. It's kind of like that. Um, <laughs> see, so distracted. Okay, Scorpios. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes it's going to be you and sometimes that won't be you. And if it's not your week, it's not your message and that's okay. Please don't try to make fit. Please don't. I had to, uh, no, I'm not getting into that. 
I'm not going to tell you all that story. Anyway. All right. So just don't try to make a fit if it's not your story. Okay. Um, plenty of other readers on YouTube that are fabulous. Please check them out if you're not resonating with me. Uh, like I said, energy is fluid. So messages can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating, you already know who you are. So just pick the side that you are. Okay. All right. Uh, also, guys, we are working with um, energy. We're reading... Um, Energy is not gender, so just don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy, and this is for the first half of November. But keep in mind, and um, whenever you're guided to watch your reading is when you're guided to watch it. Time is not linear either, okay? All right, Scorpios. I'm kind of looking forward to the full moon in Taurus. Uh, it's going to be kind of a funky thing because it's actually going to be adding a lot more miscommunication. I know, don't get scared. I oh, Shit, Scorpio, God. <laughs> Just felt you jump a little bit there. Um, see, some of you guys are really anxious right now. Some of you guys are really anxious. Some of you guys are also waking up with a lot of energy, and then other days you're waking up with a lot of fatigue. Um, so just make sure that you're aware of that and make sure that you're exercising regularly and meditating regularly. But I'm kind of excited for the full moon in Taurus because even though it's adding a lot of miscommunication, it's also bringing up a lot of emotion and compassion as well. So I think we're going to have a lot of stuff revealed here, Scorpio, in the second half of November. I know we're not quite there yet, but I think, oh, 11-11 is okay. Um, I think that's going to be the case for everybody um, after the roller coaster of the first half of November. Anyway, any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just heard I'm not sure well. <laughs> like I'm not sure drinking well. Scorpio, I don't know if some of you guys are actually gonna say that to somebody or if you're I feel like you're just gonna be thinking it. I don't think you're actually gonna say it, but you're gonna be thinking it towards somebody. Like someone just wants someone just wants your energy a little too often and a little too much. Like you're their supply. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, Scorpios, thank you. Some of you are dealing with someone who is kind of, I don't want to say addicted to you because that always like has such a weird connotation in my head. Um, but <laughs> not a cups, Piscean energy it could also be water or fire. It could be a straight up Pisces or a water sign or a fire sign. Doesn't, you know, not necessarily. Someone's coming your way, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Someone's coming your way with a love offer. Are they serious? I feel like some guys just asked me that. Are they serious? They're having, I can tell they're having to do, they're having to cross a lot. What does that mean? They're having to cross a lot to get to you. I just heard compel or high water. I'd say they're serious. <laughs> I'd say they're serious, but they're a knight. They're not giving it all away up front. Like as far, as far as like what love and affection they could be outpouring to you, it's not the full capacity that they're capable of. I'll put it that way. Um, that threw me off what I was talking about earlier, but that's okay. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November? Oh my, uh-huh. World in reverse, fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. Also Saturn, rituals, Capricorn. Scorpio, someone's coming in because they don't want something to be over. Plain and simple. They don't want something to be over. They don't want a cycle to end. Very straightforward. They don't want a cycle to end. Come hell or high water. Yeah, come hell or high water. Any other messages for Scorpio? Could also be, like I said, travel as well involved in this. You could be dealing with someone who's of a different um, background than you, of a different ethnicity, or someone who's from another country. Could also be indicative of that. Wow, judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. You have two hard hitters as far as major arcana goes in your reading here, and there's only three cards here. This could be reconciliation. Definitely could be reconciliation. It's going to be your decision, Scorpio. Ball's going to be in your court. Ball's going to be in your court. Wow. Okay. Ay. Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Uh, Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy. And we've got a freaking page of cups here, okay? Uh, these came out very separate when they land on my board. That's why I, I took a minute because energetically they feel very far apart. Scorpio, something happened in the past, most likely with this person. That was real not cool. Okay, really not cool. I do feel it was a betrayal to you. Mm, too many words. Uh, too many words just came to me with that. I think it's going to be a different case for all of you of what exactly this was, but it was a sense of betrayal. It's something that wasn't fair. And I also am getting that you didn't get an explanation here. 
And then we got a page of cups, an apology for it. So they're coming across as a page and a knight, both of cups. They're coming with an apology. But like I said, it's like, it's something like they're not giving it all up, like not giving it all away up front. So like, for example, let's say someone, total example, stole money from you. They could like come to you and be like, hey, we haven't talked in a while. I really want things to be good with us. And they write you a check and just hand it to you. That's like a Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. A King of Cups would be like, look, I stole this, I did this, and that was messed up. I should never have done that. Like, da 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 How can I make it right? What would you like me to do to make it right? That's a King of Cups. You're getting a Knight. Okay, but whatever it was, it was fucked up. And they're coming in to apologize. And it's going to be your decision of what you want to do about it. This could even just be a friend, but it feels romantic. I gotta be honest. It feels romantic. It's definitely someone from your past. Definitely someone who's of a soulmate energy. Could also be family as well. Could also be a family member. Any other messages for Scorpio? Ah, uh, I thought that's what it was. Yep, Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. I'm sorry for the crimes of the past. Yep, this is someone who definitely was deceptive, Scorpio. Hold on, let me get all these cards up. This is someone who was deceptive, okay? And they're apologizing for it. They're apologizing for it. Seven of Swords in reverse, this is something that was someone already got away with, okay? It's not new. It's definitely not new. This bullshit ain't new, okay? I just heard sleazy. Any messages for Scorpio? Wow. Ace of Cups in reverse. Jesus. What did this person do? Oh, I got the chills all over. Scorpio, you might be disgusted by this person. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Any messages for Scorpio? I'm getting a lot of stuff, so I want all the cards to come out. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Okay. Uh, Scorpio, whatever this person did, first of all, let's take this page of cups out of here because this is just their apology, right? It was a crime of the past, something they totally got away with. So I feel like it was something that wasn't even addressed after it happened. Or like something that maybe you couldn't get in contact with them or they blocked you. Something of that nature, right? Some kind of bullshit. Scorpio, look at the Seven of Swords in a verse, Ace of Cups in a verse, and the Seven of Cups in a verse. Some of you, this person just straight up threw your cup of love away. Just straight up did that. Others actually betrayed your love. Like you gave them your cup of love and they dipped out on you or did something that violated. I'm getting violated. Violated the cup of love that they gave you. And all kinds of clarity is coming to light about this whole situation. There will be no more illusions. There will be no more confusions or disillusions. Oh, there you go. It will be very clear all the details of what this person did and why they did it. And it feels really awful. Whatever it is, like I got chills almost down to the bone, Scorpio. Whatever this person did, it was really shitty. And I think it really did hurt you. It really hurt you. And they're apologizing for it, but... They're apologizing for it because they don't want to let you go. For whatever reason, Scorpio, I'm like, I really feel like this is old. I do not feel like this is new. And I mean old. Like, I don't mean like a week ago. I mean like months or years ago, whatever this was. So it's it's interesting to me that they're coming in to try to make sure that they don't lose you 100%. They already lost you. They already lost you. It's like, Scorpio, whatever you're doing, maybe because you do have so many energies around you or you're a golden goose right now and you're shitting gold, <laughs> maybe this person finally excuse me, realizes that they do, that you really are lost to them. Feels a little narky, I gotta be honest, it's a little narky. Um, but they're gonna come in and try real hard to make sure they keep that door open. That's what it is, Scorpio. This person had thought this whole time that the door was still open. So they're gonna make sure it stays open. And it's gonna be up to you what you wanna do about it, okay? Overall energy, we do have eight of wands and reverse Sag energy. I do feel like you've blocked this person. I feel like you've blocked this person uh, physically. If not, you've blocked them out of your mind for a good while. I think because what they, whatever they did was really horrible. Underneath that, we have the Three of Cups in reverse, Can't see Energy. Yeah, I don't think you want a reconciliation here, Scorpio. Look at this. I really don't think you want that. I really don't think you want a reunion. I really don't think you want a reconciliation with this person. So let's go ahead and get a little deeper into this. Let's get a little deeper into this. Let's look at the world in reverse. And see what, what's going on in this person's head as far as like what door they think they can keep open with you. Okay. I'm going to use the honest truth deck. And then we'll look at what they did. That's how we'll do it. We'll see what they're up to now. <laughs> look at what they did to you in the past and then look at your judgment call. All right. So I have the world in reverse. Scorpio, I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't seen this person in well over a year. 
or longer, honestly. Like, that's how ancient this crime feels. I think you're going to be surprised to be hearing from them. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse. For Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the world in reverse. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. Hi. Tell me about the world in reverse. For Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about this world in reverse. Ugh, I'm like, I can't stop looking at whatever these cards represent as far as like what actually happened in the past with this person. It just looks horrible. Energetically, every time I look at it, I just get such chills. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, could also be Earth or Water. And then we've got a Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter Leo energy. This person feels like they really missed out with you, Scorpio. It really feels like a wasted opportunity. Like not just a missed opportunity, but a wasted opportunity. Like totally thrown out. Someone who was not loyal either. Someone who was not loyal. Yeah, someone who was not loyal to you. Scorpio, if you were committed to this person, I don't think some of you were. Some of you weren't. Some of you weren't. Anyway, uh, if you were committed to this person... I do feel like they possibly cheated. I gotta be honest. I do feel like they possibly cheated on you. Um, but Six of Wands in reverse, it's like, you're not, again, you're not giving them any attention. They hate that you're not giving them attention because they know that you're giving other people attention because everyone's begging for your attention right now. Tell me about the world in reverse. Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. So yeah, leaving something behind. This person, I really feel Scorpio that this person ditched you in a really horrible way or, or betrayed Again, betrayed your cup of love in a really terrible way. Either way, Scorpio, I do feel like you were left. Okay? You were left alone. Or at least you cut this person out. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse for Scorpio. Temperance in reverse, Sag energy. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. And then we've got that Knight of Pentacles again. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Yeah, this person's trying really hard to come into your energy field, to come into your space. I feel like they're blocked, though. I feel like even as the energy stands now, they're having a really hard time coming in for whatever reason or another. And temperance in reverse, I, I, I don't know why I'm just getting no access. Just no access with that. Temperance in reverse can be impatience. It can also be imbalance or indulgence or even addictions. Um, but I, I'm actually hearing no access. And that two of swords, like I said, Scorpio, I feel like that's you. I feel like you're energetically keeping this person away. They don't have access to you for some reason or another. You could have blocked them energetically as well. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse. Huh. Wow. Four of Wands. Aries energy. They want a foundation with you again. I'm hearing again. They want a foundation with you again. Tell me about the world in reverse. They want to build with you, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles of the Four of Wands. They want to build a foundation with you. You're blocking this person out. Ten of the World in Reverse. <laughs> Six of Pentacles in Reverse. They feel like it's really fucked up and unfair. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so funny. <laughs> Pe people make me laugh. People really do make me laugh. Torian energy. Uh, I feel a very selfish energy from this person, Scorpio. I'm just being honest. Ten of the World in Reverse for Scorpio they feel like it's unfair please anyway overall energy ten of wands they're burdened no no, no surprise there right sad energy they're burdened i can't feel for this person i'm trying really hard to i'm trying really hard to because you know i don't know this person uh you know you know this person this is your story scorpio um but i'm having a really hard time because of whatever this crap was this looks really awful. This looks really, really awful, okay? So that being said, let's go and see what they did, okay? <laughs> let's go and see what awful thing they did. Let's look at the Seven of Swords in reverse. That's gonna tell us everything. Um, I've been having such a hard time deciding what decks I wanna use lately. Yeah, we'll do Gilded, we'll do Gilded. I have the Seven of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. Seven of Swords in reverse 
for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. I might have been using the Norman deck on this one too. Let's see. Can I have the Seven of Swords in reverse? Can I have the Seven of Swords in reverse? For Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. So I have a seven of swords in reverse. What happened in the past? Mm. We have the chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy, and the knight of swords, Gemini energy, could also be air or fire. Scorpio, this person's really harsh with their words is what I'm getting. They're very tactless. They're very careless and tactless with their words. They lash out a lot. They like to lash out a lot. Chariot in reverse is a non-committal energy. It's basically like, I'm not going there. I'm not committing to this. I'm not committing to that. Um, I almost get this energy of like a path would have been chosen. And then they said, fuck that. That's kind of how that feels. That sounds really harsh. I know, but that's kind of how it feels. So I want the seven of swords in reverse. Like they started down a path with you. Or a path in general that involved you. And then like after they decided and started walking, it was like, I'm out. But they did it in a really harsh way. Ugh. Six of cups. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Six of cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. I'm hearing misery. Oh, God. <sighs> Whenever this person did this, Scorpio, they weren't happy. And I'm not saying it's because of you. They just weren't a happy person, okay? They were someone who just kind of sad and misery like I hate to say it that way but that's kind of how it feels this is someone who's carrying on a lot of pain okay a lot of pain they like to lash out at people <clears throat> excuse me he went on the gem cancer cusper by the way um yeah Scorpio I'm just getting lashing out because of all the pain that they had inside of them Let's see what else we got here so I have the seven of swords in reverse Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh my god, so many cards are coming out now. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. All right, let's see here. Wow. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. This person's very stubborn. Whenever, whenever this happens, Scorpio... It seems like they were, you were dealing with a page status at the time. Right now, they're a knight. Wow, yeah, they're not even a king. I'm only seeing pages and knights. And it seems like in the past, they were mostly just a page, okay? Very immature. <clears throat> uh, very immature. Like, uh, how do I say this? How do I say this? Like, harebrained schemes is what I'm getting. Like, they would get, like, some kind of inkling of inspiration for something. And then they would just kind of haphazardly go about doing it. I think you were the voice of reason in this and that really irritated them. That really irritated them. It was kind of like you were the adult and they were the child. That's kind of how it feels. That's how it feels. Um, and Scorpio, I think they were very stubborn with you and it's like whatever um, you wanted out of the situation, they were not going to give it. And they were very adamant about that. They were very vocal about that. Overall energy, we have eight of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, careless. Careless, not even looking at the details, uh, not being productive, not putting energy into anything. Yeah, that's how this is feeling. Uh, I'm more curious about the chariot in reverse. So let's go ahead and use a little Norman deck on that and see if we can get more details. We might not be able to because I think it's different for all of you. Talk about this chariot in reverse with the Knight of Swords for what happened in the past between Scorpio and this person. Talk about the chariot in reverse. Oh, path. Energy of 22, master number with the queen of pentacles, which you were coming up as the queen of pentacles to this person here, choosing a path. Like I said, it's like they chose a path and they started walking and then they said, oh, never mind, never mind. Hold on. Hi. So we have here. Wow. So we have the birds, which is communication and the star, which is equivalent to um, the star card in tarot. We have seven of pentacles and the six of cups. Scorpio, I really feel like they told you that they wanted something with you or that they want a commitment with you. Like star with the birds. I mean, that's like talking about destiny. That's talking about, especially combined with the path, like where, where we're headed next, like what's going to be happiest for us next. And communication is with another person. It's not, you know, just talking to spirit or talk, you know what I mean? It's like deliberately having conversation about the path to be chosen 
and the path leading to long-term something with that star card. It's like something leading to happiness, something leading to healing, something leading to, again, I'm getting destiny with that. And then they just pulled out. So I have the Chariot in reverse with the Knight of Swords. So I have the Chariot with the Knight of Swords. Tell me what happened in the past here between Scorpio and this person. Tell me about the Chariot's in reverse. Because that tells me they didn't go for it. That tells me it came to a sudden stop. So I have the Chariot in reverse with the Knight of Swords. Why is the Chariot in reverse for Scorpio? Why is the Chariot in reverse here? This is so weird. Now we have uh, the Clover energy of two uh, with the Six of Wands here. This is luck. This is luck. This is fortune. It's also a blessing. This is what's so weird to me because it seems like this person was saying you're the one it's like it seems very it, it seems so extreme I, I feel like this person might be a narc I mean to say I mean, this is something that was communicated from the knight of swords energy with the chariot in reverse like oh yeah this is where we're headed this is what we're gonna do this is the path we're choosing this is such a lucky thing I'm so fortunate to have you in my life this is such a blessing and then they didn't overall energy we have uh the stork which is a uh, queen of cups energy 17 breaking down to an eight it's fertility uh, it's fertility, it's nesting, it's growing and building. Oh, yeah, and then we've got the fucking snake. Yep. Yeah. Scorpio, this person sold you a dream. No wonder it felt so awful. Uh, Queen of Wands, energy of seven. Uh, I feel like they switched up. They either switched up partners on you or they just flat out ditched you after literally selling you a dream. A very extreme dream, but selling you a dream. That's pretty shitty. Sorry, it is. It's pretty shitty. All right, so let's look at the judgment call, which like I said, this person really wants a reconciliation with you, but overall energy, Scorpio, I think you're not having it. I think you're really not having it. So let's look at judgment, which I don't blame you. If, you're, if this is all resonating for you, I don't blame you. Definitely don't blame you. Um, yeah, let's do spellcasters. And then we'll get some advice. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Regarding love for the first half of November. I. <laughs> Let's see here. Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. And then we have, yeah, see, look at this shit. The Hierophant. Taurian energy and the Chariot in reverse can't see energy. Someone running away from commitment. Scorpio, this tire moment is, is, what hap is what happened in the past with this person. Someone ran away from commitment. It's so clear. It's so fucking clear. Someone ran away from commitment. Let's see what else wants to come out. Tell me about judgment. And like I said, you're the one calling judgment on this person. Tell me about judgment. Shit, Spirit's doing that too. Okay. <laughs> Spirit's definitely doing that too with all this major arcana. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio regarding love for the first half of November. Overall energy. We have the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Underneath that, we have the Fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. This is like a Hail Mary for them, is what I'm getting. This is a ha Hail Mary for them. I'm also getting like major foolishness about this, this past um, event here. Scorpio, I don't think you have much respect for this person. And again, I don't blame you. You look at them like they made a huge mistake and that they totally ditched a commitment that they were that they signed up for. That they signed up for. That they talked about in detail with you about choosing this path that they said was so destined. Right? That they said was so destined. Keep in mind it can be vice versa, guys. Um but you're calling judgment on them and it seems like you're bringing it up and you're not letting them forget. Scorpio, I really think you're not going to accept this person's apology. I really think you're blocking reconciliation with them, okay? That's how it feels to me. But of course, you're the master of your own life. You decide what you want to do. You decide what you want to do, okay? All right, so let's get some advice, Scorpio. Let's get some advice. Any advice from our Scorpios regarding this spread?
any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Yeah, Scorpio, no matter like who, you know, how old this person is or how old you were at the time, it definitely seems like you had way more maturity than them. And even now, the maturity level is a knight. They, there are no kings attached to this person. Any other, any advice for my Scorpios? You're at least a queen. <laughs> You're coming across as the queen of pentacles. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my... God, this scared the hell out of me for a second. <laughs> All right, so we have elephant spirit. Uh, learn from the past. Energy of 25, breaking down to a seven here. Yeah, Scorpio, you, you, you're, you're pretty wise here. I think you already know exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing from this. Excuse me. This person sold you a dream, said this, that, and the other, and then they ran away. <laughs> then they ran the fuck away. Would you sign up for that again? I don't think you're signing up for that again. It's basically learn from your past mistakes here. Uh, this person should too, obviously. Mm. This person should too. But yeah, Scorpio, it's basically a big, big red flag of like, hey, Scorpio, have you learned? Have you learned? Have you learned? Have you learned? I hope you've learned. Let's see here. Any advice for my Scorpios? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? <clears throat> Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, <laughs> Scorpio. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Mm-hmm. 54, breaking down to a nine. You know your worth, Scorpio. You've learned. Maybe back then, whenever this happened, maybe you would have tried to hear them out. Maybe you would have considered a reconciliation, but Scorpio, you know you know better. You know what you deserve, and you know you're not going to put up with that shit again. You know you're not. You know you're not. All right. Any advice for Scorpio regarding this spread? Grasshopper spirit, take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three here. This is interesting that this came out because... <clears throat> Scorpio, I feel like it's actually warning you against impulse. I think that's why this card is here. Warning you against the impulse. Because I do feel there's a very strong energetic connection between the two of you, but you've done a really good job of blocking this person out. I can feel it. You have, which is why they haven't been able to come in all that much. You haven't been able to feel them all that much, which I think is why this is going to surprise you when this person comes in. But you have totally learned, Scorpio. You've learned. And it's like, I'm not taking that bait. Mm -mm. Don't jump too quickly in this, Scorpio. It's okay to have a conversation, but if you're really, really tempted to take this person back, just sit and think about it. Even if you gotta go into hermit mode, like just sit and think about it. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Okay, last card out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Scorpio. Koi fish spirit, there is always enough. Energy of 36, break it down to a nine. Scarcity mindset. I love that this card came out for you in this in this reading because it's basically like whatever's presented to you, whatever you need will always be given to you, okay? That's why you don't have to take everything that, that comes your way. You don't have to take everything that is presented to you. You don't have to answer every phone call. You don't have to talk to every person. You don't have to hear every person out because whatever you need will be provided to you. There is plenty, okay? Plenty of fish in the sea, Okay. <laughs> okay overall energy oh not surprised this came out for you starfish spirit open to open to infinite possibilities energy of 59 breaking down to a five like i said a lot of stuff's coming your way scorpio a lot of you have a lot of suitors or a lot of opportunities with friends or work or what have you a lot of people are poking and prodding at the scorpio right now because why because you're the golden goose this is not going to be the first or last person you're going to hear from during the month of month of november i definitely don't think they're the first but they're definitely not going to be the last so if you're really tempted to jump right in there, just remember scarcity, the lesson of scarcity mindset. There are plenty of fish in the sea, and there truly are. Maybe it's an over, overused phrase, but there truly are, okay? You got a lot of people poking and prodding you, Scorpio, and propositioning you. If you don't like what this person sold you in the past because it was a lie, and now they're back because they're afraid they might lose you for good, shouldn't they have thought about what they did? Because Scorpio, you've learned. 
your worth. You know your value. And that's it. You know, you know your value. And there will be there will be more. Okay, there will be more. You're just a golden goose right now. Might also be another reason why this person's coming in to knock on your door, energetically speaking, right? Uh, and I would also question that. Like, why now? Why now that I'm a golden goose? Why now that I got like, you know, stuff going well for me? Why now? Why now? Why now? Right? All right, Scorpios. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and Vimeo if you guys want to check out the monthly readings. I'm also going to put up the partner readings too at some point this week. So also keep your eyes out for that. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a great night, Scorps. Namaste.